They said that Rome wasn't built in a day, but this boost pedal was. And um, I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch using a Sharpie pen on a piece of copper board to make the circuit board and then uh, wiring it all together up in this little box. I've got a piece of copper board. This is the circuit that I'm gonna try and get onto this copper board. So I'm gonna draw this circuit onto here by hand and then try and etch it. Um, and then try and make a circuit out of it and then see if the circuit works. First, I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna start. Um, I've done a little uh, sort of a cutaway so I can trace it onto there and I'm gonna get some chemicals and etch away. So that's me, uh, that's the PCB piece. Uh, I'm gonna get this onto it. So I wanna cut this out. Tell you, this doing it this way requires a lot of patience, and I don't think you'd be able to do it with a like a circuit board that's any bigger than this. There we have the um, circuit on there. All right, so I'm wearing stupid glasses because um, I'm gonna be dealing with ammonium per sulfate. Um, you can get this from any kind of electronics sh store or hardware store. It's known as PCB etching agent. It says mix um, one part crystals, like they're little crystals, with five parts of water. Um, and the water needs to be hot, so it needs to be about 70 degrees C um, and it needs to be maintained at that heat for five to ten minutes. I've done this before and um, just use hot water and just put this in it. It's kind of simple. It does work. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and do this with my PCB. So this PCB we're going to try and etch. I've got a plastic dish. I'm going to chuck that in there put warm water on it, put the etching agent on it, and then you kind of rattle it about to agitate the uh, the agent. And it kind of goes green, and that's just because of the copper coming off. And um, it should leave you with a, a printed copper board. So that's worked pretty well. Um, I started to put a bit of boiling water on it mixed with um, like colder water just to keep the temperature going, like it said. Um, yeah, this it's, it's works. Really pleased with that. It looks like, you know, everything's come up great. My first, my first PCB has been homemade. Isn't that brilliant? Okay, so I've been using a one mil drill bit to drill the holes and then because I've got a mini three pole double throw that I want to stick in here I've done holes that are probably two mil, which isn't ideal. I should have done 1.5 mil It's got a little bit of copper to get uh, itself attached to I'll just wad it up with a bit of solder. I reckon Hopefully it should be okay um, But we'll see but anyway um, all the all the drills uh, drill holes are done um, and I can start putting components in now all right so I'm about to solder in my first little bits of components obviously I'm just putting in the uh, the 9 volt and the ground in there so that's what we've got the first bit 9 volt and ground so I'm not going to show you me doing all of this, I'll, uh, I'll skip to the bit where I've done it all. Okay, so I've finished all the soldering now, um, and that's what it looks like with all the parts in. And uh, we're going to test it, see if it works. So this is the pedal finished, and it works. I've just um, given it a bit of power and an input and output through my test box. 
So obviously I have to activate the foot switch here and activate the foot switch here for it to work. The pedal's off at the moment, so this is what it sounds like with it off. Obviously it's a clean boost, so it's just going to boost that signal. I'm going to activate the switch now. So this is ready to be put inside the enclosure and that will fit right inside there like that. Alright so I got it all um, boxed up, it's working with a really nice orange LED, uh, they're really bright these LEDs. This pedal is done, I'll open up the back so you can see how it's fitted in, it was a really tight squeeze and I was mucking about with it for ages. There you go. It's all in there. So that's the uh, very DIY boost pedal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.